Professional Responsibility Research for the Advanced Legal Research course at Boston College Law School. In professional responsibility research, as in all legal research, you are searching for relevant authorities. As in other legal research, you are bound by relevant constitutional provisions, statutes, and cases. You're also by, bound by the ethical code or rules from the state in which you are practicing. There are also a number of highly persuasive authorities which, while not binding, are very useful in dealing with ethical issues. These include both formal and informal ethics opinions from your state or local bar and the ABA, disciplinary proceedings, the Restatement Third of the Law Governing Lawyers, and ethics codes of professional organizations. One of the most useful resources for performing professional responsibility research is the ABA Bloomberg Law Lawyer's Manual of Professional Conduct. Access it on Bloomberg Law through the Legal Ethics and Professional Responsibility Practice Center or start by typing Legal Ethics and select the Navigation tab when it appears. Bloomberg regularly redesigns this page to highlight current ethical issues like legal ethics guidance on AI, professional perspectives, and recent ABA ethics opinions. The ABA and state bar associations issue ethics opinions written in response to requests for advice from lawyers who want to know whether a past or contemplated future action violates an ethical code. These opinions are recommendations to the attorney and not enforceable. They may be cited in another case as persuasive authority or to show how the ABA or the state bar has interpreted the code or rules. To find an ABA ethics opinion on a particular topic, select more. You can filter ABA ethics opinions by topic, such as attorney confidentiality or withdrawal from legal representation, or you can filter by ABA model rule number. Back on the Lawyer's Manual landing page, Bloomberg Law has a series of practice guides that are a great starting place for your research. Click on the search box to get a pull-down menu that includes a table of contents to get an expandable, browsable outline for this publication. If you don't have the rule numbers committed to memory, you can scroll, you can link to the ABA model rules of professional conduct. There is also a link to the AB rules and state variations comparison charts. We could explore a state bar's ethics resources, including their opinions, by selecting the state from the pull-down menu, typing in its postal code, or selecting a state from the map. On the state page are links to browser search, the state rules of professional conduct, court rules, and the code of judicial conduct for those states like Massachusetts with local bars, in this case, the Boston Bar Association. Ethic opinions from both the state and local bar associations can be browsed or searched by issuing authority. State bar pages also contain links to disciplinary resources like the Office of Bar Council of the Massachusetts Bar Board Overseers. The Massachusetts Board of Bar Overseers website also provides access to disciplinary and reinstatement decisions. Looking to other legal research platforms, Lexis has a legal ethics practice area. Their coverage is not as comprehensive as Bloomberg Law, but they often contain full text when the lawyer's manual may only contain a digest of an ethics opinion. Look under Administrative Materials, Codes, and Regulations to get access to all legal ethical administrative materials. These include formal and informal ethics opinions of the ABA and a variety of state bar opinions and decisions. To get similar content on Westlaw, choose Content Type Administrative Decisions and Guidance, scroll down to the section of the page arranged by Topic Type, and select Ethics and Disciplinary Opinions. Here you can access ABA Ethics Opinions and many states' legal and judicial ethics and disciplinary opinions. Remember that coverage is uneven, so check jurisdiction and the years of coverage.